I'm here in a hardwood plantation in Rusk County, Texas. And when you're managing a hardwood plantation for timber, there are a number of lessons that we really need to learn from managing natural regeneration in hardwood stands if we want to be successful in our plantation. So with hardwoods, we have a variety of oaks in this stand here. Um, I'm looking at a water oak right here, uh, water oak here as well. Uh, I've got some other oak species in here also. Oaks don't necessarily have the same X current crown form where they grow one main stem like you would see on a pine. They don't self prune as well and quality, it's just harder to get a quality hardwood tree in many species from a timber perspective. So when we manage a natural stand, we get them to establish at very high densities and we allow them to go through a prolonged period of stem exclusion and density dependent mortality that gets you down to your target densities and really does a lot to shape the stem form, give you one main stem, self pruned well, and get you those quality, high grade saw timber trees, veneer trees, whatever your local markets may be, barrel staves. However, if you do a plantation and you plant a hardwood stand at 400, 500, 600 trees per acre, you can see we're at a pretty wide spacing here. And as a result of that wide spacing, you accelerate through stem exclusion. You don't have as much competition. You don't have as much self pruning. Um, you'll end up with trees forking or getting large limbs and getting that quality saw timber tree is much more of a challenge. So to do that for timber, you need to very carefully plan out your hardwood plantation. You may need to plant at a higher density. You may be looking at something like an eight by eight foot spacing. You may need to intentionally plant a matrix of trees such that you have good competitors pre-planned. So if your end of the rotation species you're targeting is cherry bark oak, you may want to plant that with a matrix of sweet gums around them. Sweet gums a great nurse tree for cherry bark oak because it will outgrow it for the first 20 to 25 years. And as that's occurring, your cherry bark oak is growing straight due to that intense competition. And following that 20 to 25 year period, the cherry bark oak will beat out over top the sweet gum and you have good quality saw timber trees. So plan out the matrix of species you're gonna plan out. Think about your density. Think about competing vegetation. Hardwoods may not grow as rapidly as pines early in the rotation, and many of the herbicides we use to release pines will kill or damage hardwoods. So you've gotta think through all these things in a hardwood plantation if you wanna be successful managing it for timber long term. It's a challenge and quality is your biggest challenge.